This is Max Goldberg from Living Maxwell. I have a very special interview for you today. I'm here with my friend Marcy Zaroff. Marcy is the president and founder of the organic textile company Under the Canopy. Marcy, how are you today? I am doing great. Home sweet home. Well, and, uh... <laughs> Marcy, I never. This is a first for me. I've never shot an interview on a bed before. <laughs> <laughs> Fun, fun. <laughs> so, but it's great to be with you. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, obviously, I see you at all the shows and all the organic events, and you have an incredibly interesting story, not only in your background, but what you're doing professionally. So, what? how did you get into the organic textile business? Well, I actually started in the organic and natural food industry, and having been a vegetarian since I was 16, out of business school, I co-founded a health educational center and educational certification program which now is known as the Institute for Integrative Nutrition, the world's largest nutrition school. We also in the school started an organic Aveda spa mm. which um, had us connect from food into beauty and so then I saw this missing link in the wellness equation. It became very apparent to me that you really couldn't support organic and natural food without supporting fiber. Mm. Cotton is one of the leading causes of air and water pollution. So when I started to learn that, and I understood the interconnection of food and fiber in agriculture, mm -hmm. it became very clear to me that business as usual uh, in the textile and fashion industry, especially with cotton, uh, had to be addressed. And so I coined the term eco-fashion in 1995. You came up with that term? I did. I wow. tra <laughs> trademarked it. and Eco-fashion. That's yep, yours. Eco-fashion.com. Awesome. That's Marcy Zaroff. So. <laughs> um, and I really rolled my sleeves up and got in the trenches and said, you know, I'm going to bridge the worlds of ecology and sustainability and natural with fashion, which in those days people thought it was absolutely crazy that those were two dichotomous worlds, mm -hmm. that people were either in the material world and they wanted to look good, or they were in a more you know, sustainable, humanitarian, organic consciousness world, and they just wanted to do good. And so for me, it was all about look good, do good, feel good, right? Awesome. So what, tell, some, tell the people out there, you're, you've been entrenched in this industry for decades. What are, the, what are the things that people need to know in terms of why buy organic sheets and clothing and towels what is what are we saving what kind of damage are we not doing to the environment by buying these organic textiles so first of all 60 percent of a cotton plant goes into our food stream a lot of people don't realize that so in the way of seed and feed mm -hmm. for dairy so if you're gonna eat organic dairy you actually need organic cotton seed if you're gonna eat snack foods and bread foods made with cotton seed oil you want organic cotton seed oil mm -hmm. so cotton represents less than three percent of the world's agriculture but uses over 20 percent of the most harmful insecticides and up to 10 percent of the most toxic pesticides to grow it and that doesn't even account for all of the finishes the chlorine bleaches the formaldehyde the heavy metals that are applied in the processing of cotton. So if it's not organic, mm -hmm. you're actually supporting an industry that is ridden with toxic chemicals that is polluting, that are polluting our water and our air and soil and ecosystems. And it's just not sustainable business as usual in cotton. It, we have to look at how to create a model that is about no compromise. And you said something to me that blew me away. Each one sheet that's uh, a non-organic sheet for your bed is uses two pounds of pesticides, is that right? The cotton that it takes has about two pounds of pesticides in it. Wow. So it's pretty, uh, you know, the magnitude and multitude of impacts are pretty significant. And most cotton textiles also are processed with formaldehyde. So mm -hmm. yes, I mean, we're sleeping in cotton, we're wearing cotton clothing, um, and the truth of the matter is, is that your skin is the largest organ in your body and your primary organ for absorption. So it's not just what you put in your body, it's what you put on your body that matters. Plus we have the whole issue with the genetically modified uh, cotton, which is a massive problem in India. There's a movie I wrote about uh, several months ago, last year, called Bitter Seeds. Two, or approximately 250,000 farmers in India have committed suicide. They get on the GMO treadmill. So by purchasing organic textiles, you're, you're you're supporting, you're, first of all, you're not using genetically modified cotton and you're not putting the pesticides into the environment. That's right. I mean, every half an hour, a farmer in India is committing suicide and they're drinking the pesticides. Yeah, exactly. It's just, it's a crazy, you know, the social ramifications, the, the typical farmer growing cotton can't even put food on their table for their family because they're, they've been pushed down in the system um, mm. and can't support their livelihoods. And so, you know, we support at Under the Canopy 
the farmers and the factory workers that are growing and sewing our products. We're in this together. You know, the whole concept of under the canopy is we all live under the canopy of the planet's ecosystem together. Absolutely. So, Marcy, tell me what you're doing um, with the organic textiles at Under the Canopy. What, what exciting things do you have going on now? A lot of exciting things. Uh, well, first of all, uh, we're lying here on our organic beds that Under the Canopy is in the process right now of rolling out three of our beds into all Bed Bath & Beyond stores nationwide. Really? Which is super exciting. Wow. Um, our Lover Bed, which they're going to be actually featuring in their May Circular to over 20 million households. Very exciting. Wow. Um, and our Metamorphosis Bed, which this is a pillow off that bed, talking about awakening and rebirth, just like a beautiful butterfly comes alive <laughs> in the springtime. Thank God it's spring. Uh, and then, of course, the Goddess Collection, which is all about the Divine Feminine, and they're all beautiful collections. We also have the Light Worker and the Adventurer going online, so anyone can go to bedbathandbeyond.com and find wow. those collections. And then, in addition, we have apparel. I'm wearing an organic uh, cotton goth certified organic cotton dress from under the canopy, and we will have... Uh, this collection rolling out onto online boutiques this month in mm -hmm. April, which is also very exciting. Um, and then thirdly, we are rolling out right now into Wyndham Worldwide Hotels. Wyndham Hotels. Yes, and really? that is with our beauty collection. So that's with our bathroom amenities. So it's shampoo, conditioner, soap, and lotion with organic ingredients. Um, it's an amazing collection, and we are so excited about Wyndham. And how many hotels is Wyndham rolling mm. this out to? So they're starting in all of their Latin America hotels, okay. all of their Mexican hotels, and their... Uh, Caribbean okay. and then we're already working on deals with other countries uh, worldwide wow. so and we've got a couple of uh, we actually also have rolled out into some US hotels so. now now Marcy is Wyndham gonna do your sheets and your towels are they gonna take on those as well <laughs> working on it you're working we're on working it. on it I hope so well, I yeah. hope they do too because I know for me if I know a hotel is using organic sheets organic bedding organic towels and organic soaps in the bathroom that's a hotel I'm staying at and I can I know a lot of other organic consumers would make that decision as well Marcy it's great seeing you and I'm so happy for your success you're doing amazing amazing things and uh, I hope your your sheets and your clothes and your towels are absolutely everywhere soon thank you so much Max and so do we <laughs> <laughs> Well, thanks. This is Max Goldberg from Living Maxwell. Just remember to buy well, eat well, and most importantly, live well. Thanks for watching.